Press Shift plus T to duplicate the controller mesh. On View Layers, click Hide in Viewport to hide the first mesh and rename the duplicate you've just created. Press Tab to go to Edit Mode, Numpad 1 to Front View, and press Alt plus T to enable X-Ray. This will allow to select everything inside the selection box. With the Select Box tool, select all top vertices and press X to delete. Press Numpad 7 to go to Top View and exit Edit Mode. Press Shift plus A and create a mesh plane. Press Alt plus Z to exit X-Ray. Change the dimensions to 42mm on X and 17mm on Y to create a rectangle. Press Ctrl plus A and apply scale. Go to Edit Mode, press X to delete and select only faces. With Ctrl plus R, create 5 loop cuts on the top edge, 1 on the left, 5 on the bottom and 1 on the right. Select the 4 corner vertices and press Ctrl plus B to create a bevel. Change effect to vertices, width to 2 mm and segments to 2. Exit edit mode. Now move the rectangle pressing G, Y, 13.5 and enter. Press Shift plus A and create a mesh circle. Set vertices to 8, press Ctrl plus 2, set diameter to 6 mm and apply scale. Press Shift plus D and make 3 copies of this circle. Select one circle. Press G, X, minus 30 and enter, then G, Y, 17.5 and enter. Select another circle. Press G, X, minus 61 and enter, then G, Y, minus 7.5 and enter. Select another circle and press G, Y, minus 15 and enter. Select the last one, set diameter to 5 mm, apply scale, and press G, Y, minus 2.5 and enter. Select these four circles, the rectangle, and press Ctrl plus J. Go to Edit Mode, select all vertices after the X axis center, press X to delete, and exit Edit Mode. Delete the subsurface modifier, add the mirror modifier, and apply it. Shift select the controller mesh and press Ctrl plus J. Go to edit mode and select the controller edge loop with Alt plus left click. Press F to fill, I to inset, set thickness to 4mm and press X to delete the face. Select the rectangle edge loop. Press F to fill, I to inset, set thickness to 1mm and X to delete the face. Select the inner rectangle edge loop, press F3 and select Grid Fill. If it doesn't show on the list, just type Grid. Change Span Value to 4 and find the offset value until the edges are straight. Select the Circle Edge Loop, press F to Fill, I to Inset, set Thickness to 0.5mm and X to delete the face. Select this inner circle edge loop, press F3 and select Grid Fill. Change the offset if the edges forms an X shape. Now repeat the same steps with the other three circles. After you've done, delete half of the mesh, exit edit mode, add the mirror modifier and place it on top. Before we continue, I'd like to say something first. This step has no right or wrong way to complete, unless you are making something like a character that has deformations. As this object is a hard surface model, you don't have to worry that much. The only rule here is to try your best to make quad faces, that are faces formed by four vertices. A lot of time is a back and forth process to find a better way to do it. Now let's start creating the faces. Select these top four vertices and press F to create a new face. Now select this edge and press F two times to create two faces to the left. Select these two vertices and press F to create a new edge. Subdivide once and change the vertex position to align with the bottom circle, which is minus 15 mm on Y axis. Subdivide again and change the vertex position to align with the middle circle, which is minus 2.5 mm on Y axis. Then subdivide one more time to create a vertex between these two circles. Select these three vertices and with clipping enabled, press E, 
X, drag the mouse to the right, and left click to confirm. The clipping will prevent the extrusion to go beyond the X axis center. Press Ctrl plus R, create three loop cuts, and fill the remaining faces. Now we have the same amount of vertices to connect with these two circles. Press 3 on keyboard to change the face selection. Select these two faces around the middle circle and X to delete. Press 1 on keyboard to change the vertex selection and create the faces around the circle. Now repeat the same steps on the bottom circle. Alt plus left click this edge loop. Press F3 and select grid fill. Change this pen value to 5 and find the best offset value. Just aim to match these horizontal edges. Here I'm just placing these two vertices at the center of this circle, which is minus 61 millimeters on X axis. Then select this middle one and press X to delete. Do the same to the vertex in the middle of the other circle. Create the faces around these two circles. Here I'm just smoothing the mesh edge flow by moving some vertices and using loop tool space tool. This part isn't really necessary, but I like to do it anyway. I'm going to do this now and I'll come back after that. Go to edit mode, press A to select all, numpad 1 to go to front view, and press G, Z, 10, and enter. With Alt plus left click, select the outer edge loop, press E, Z, minus 10, and enter. Press numpad 7 to go to top view, and set min crease to 1 on all edges shown here. You can do it by pressing Shift plus E, dragging the mouse, and left click to confirm. Or just press Shift plus E, 1, and enter to confirm. Just make sure the crease value is 1. Exit edit mode, and apply the mirror modifier. Go back to edit mode. Select these rectangle faces, and extrude them down by minus 0.25 mm on Z axis. Select this middle circle vertex, Press Ctrl plus plus sign to expand selection and extrude them down by minus 0.5 mm on Z axis. Go to top view, select these five middle vertices, press Ctrl plus plus sign to expand selection and extrude them down by minus 10 mm on Z axis. Exit edit mode, right mouse click and select shade auto smooth. Change the Z scale to minus 1 to invert the shape, press Ctrl plus A and apply scale. And with that, we finished the second part of our Super NES controller modeling course. The next video will be part 3, the base mesh details. If you're still here, it means you are liking the content of this course. This took me a lot of time and planning to make it. So please, consider subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it, and leave a comment. It's fast, simple, and most important, it's free. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you on the next one. Bye bye.